This is most likely the last video that I'll be doing for the J201 course. Uh, I think you've learned a lot, and this last one is just a little example with arrays. What we're going to do is have the user input 10 numbers. We're going to make those numbers into an array, and then we're going to, rem to remove any duplicates of those numbers and print that out. Let's get started. Uh, first thing, uh, notice we have the import java.util.star at the top. That's because we're going to use that scanner where the user actually inputs the numbers for the array. So let's get a little print statement going, tell them what's going on. So this program will uh, print the unique numbers that you enter. And duplicate, let's clarify that a little bit, duplicate numbers will not be printed. So let's actually have them in, enter the info. First we'll need to create a scanner equals new scanner system dot in. And next we'll create the array. And we said we're going to do size 10, so don't worry about getting the size from the user. So int my array equals new int and we said size 10, so we put the integer 10 in there. Let's put a little comment. We need to have the user input the numbers next, so have user input numbers. We'll put a, uh, we'll bring that to new line, make it a space here so it looks a little bit neater. So we want to have them enter 10 numbers, and each number is going to be part of a different, uh, it's going to be a different place in the array, so we're going to do this with a for loop. For int i, int i equals 0, as long as i is less than the array, uh, less than how long it is, less than my array, let's just put the number 10 there. We're going to iterate i by 1 each time. And then we need to have each value go into the array at whatever place it's entered at. So my array i equals input dot next int. And what this is doing here is this for loop is going to start at 0. So the 0th element in the array is going to be the first thing they enter. The first element is going to be the second thing. and and so on. So that should be working very well. I just have the 4 there so it's easy to read. Next let's print the array. The array not necessary. So we'll tell them what's going on. The array you entered is Well, uh, my computer is lagging right now. I'm going to put this on pause for a second. So the array they entered is, and then we will have a for loop to print that array. So uh, we did this in a earlier video, for int i equals 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus, and we will actually print that. So we'll print my, that shouldn't be in quotes, array i. Uh, we don't want to print line because we want this to be all on the same line. And then we want to put a space there. So this should be printing it just fine. And we'll move on to the next part. 
this is where the uh, this is where the program that is actually written. What we're wanting to do, we want to check each number in the array and make sure it's not a duplicate. So for int i equals zero, well i is less than ten again. We will iterate i each time. Then I think this is the first time in this course that I'm going to do what I'm about to do here, which is a nested for loop for int i. So I need one more variable. I'll call it j. Int j equals, and I'm going to set this to i plus 1. Well, j is less than 10. j plus plus. And I'll show you what this is doing in just a second. Let's see. If the array at the position i is equal to the array at position j, then we want to change the value of that my array j. Put a comment for the if statement there, and a for int j there, so you can keep track of where everything is. So if these two values are equal, we want to change the value to negative 1. Which, uh, negative 1, that's just a convention that's used. It's really you want to choose any value that you don't think is going to be inside the array. Uh, you'll see why in just a little bit. I'm not actually going to modify the array. I'm just choosing which parts to print out. So the way that this works right here, is i is the very, actually I'll, uh, here this will be, uh, this will be an easier way to show you what's going on. I'll let you read along down here and I'll, I can point to things easier. Okay, so let's say we start out with this array. I know it's not 10 things, but who cares. So int i equals 0, that's right here. Int j equals i plus 1. So this part, let's see. So int i is right here. And j would be right here. And then it comes down here and it says, all right, if these two are the same, we'll change i to negative 1, but they're not the same. So it iterates j again because it hasn't made it out of this for loop to go back up to here. So it then moves j to the place right here. And it checks, all right, is i equal to j? Well, yeah, those are equal. So this changes to negative 1. And my program isn't extremely efficient because it then continues with j going down the line. It then so, says, all right, let's move j over here. Is negative 1 equal to 7? No. So we'll leave that alone. And j goes down the line. Then at the end of it, i is iterated. And i becomes the 2. So then checks 2 against it. And j is i plus 1, so checks 2 against 1, they're not the same, so j is moved down to 7, and so forth. And any time it gets two things that are the same, it will change the first one to negative 1. It would probably be a little bit more efficient to change the second thing to negative 1, but uh, we'll let you experiment with that on your own if you use a large data set. Okay, so now that we've figured out what we need to print. We want to print everything that is not a negative 1. So print the array ag again. I'll just label this one up here. Change duplicate values to negative 1. Do not print negative 1. All right. So this part's fairly simple. We have pretty much the code up here where we printed the array. We're 
so we're just going to paste that down here. But we need have we need to do a little bit different. Let's see, we'll type the final array is so that it's telling the array they entered. And then we want to make sure these values are not equal to negative one. So if i is not equal to negative one. then we want to print this out. And then one last thing, uh, this is going to look a little bit messy unless we bring this to another line. So let's run this program, hit shift F6 and we'll see how it goes. Uh, Enter 10 numbers. Alright, this program will print the unique numbers that you enter. Duplicate numbers will not be printed. Enter 10 numbers. I actually have some for a. Uh, I have some already copied, so we'll just. Oh, uh, well, I did have copied at the start of this video. Let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, or 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, looks like we have a little bit of a problem there. Uh, let me take a look at what's going on real quick. So, if i equals zero, plus plus. Oh, that, that's pretty obvious. That should have been my array. And I'll uh, copy this so I can paste it real quickly. All right. Enter ten numbers. Final array is one three two twenty eight four five. Okay, it seems like the program is working now. Sorry for that little hiccup. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, this will probably be the last video in the J two hundred one series that I'm doing. If you do need anything in it, though, like I mention almost every video, please let me know, and I'll try to do those examples for you. Uh, I may not put them in this playlist, but I'll still do the work. Uh, hopefully you understood what's going on here. I'd say the most instructive parts, the artists understand, are this block of code right here, and this print right here. Uh, later on, in probably the probably going to wait till we get to J221 or uh, no one of J202 probably the J202 course we will actually be getting rid of the value instead of just not printing it but the way to do that's a little bit beyond the scope of this course so uh, we'll stay away from that for now as always thanks for watching